Hey, what's going on guys? It's me Hadi and we're gonna make another video talking about spellbreaker builds and combos that you can use in PvP or World vs. World. Got my friend Safi here helping me, so we're gonna get right into it. So for the build that I run, I run Berserker with strength runes and dagger with energy on the main hand and paralyzation on the off hand. Now some people don't like to run dagger dagger so if you don't run dagger dagger you can also run shield and run paralyzation on shield too. Now the reason that you want to run paralyzation on your offhand is because you want your skills like disrupting stab and shield bash to stun the target as long as possible. So disrupting stab works when you interrupt the foe and you can just use shield bash when they come off a dodge roll. These are crucial for stunning the target and locking them down so you can rip their boons as fast as possible. Now moving right along, we're going to get into talking about the build. So when you run Spellbreaker, you're going to run Pure Strike, Loss Aversion, and Full Counter. Now here where Spellbreaker gets interesting. Now if you look at this trait called Attackers Insight, I mentioned it in a video before the release of Spellbreaker and Path of Fire. It talked about how your skill refreshes when you use full counter. So when you use full counter, it refreshes all your burst skills. So once you do that, you use your burst skill first, then full counter next. In this demonstration, I'll use breaching strike, full counter to reset, and another breaching strike. Using that combo setup will allow you to rip boons as fast as possible, but you have to full counter after you use your burst skill, or you're just going to miss and use your adrenaline doing nothing. So timing is crucial. Now in this next clip, we're going to talk about the Elite for Spellbreaker, which is Winds of Disenchantment. Now I see this skill not being used as effectively as it should be, and I'm going to show you how. Making use of your Elite finishes such as Breaching Strike and Aura Slicer for Elite finishers. But do not use Shield Bash. <laughs> You can also use Eviscerate, which is a leap finisher and will cause interrupt. Alright, so we're about to wrap it up with this last combo set. So you want to run No Escape, which is also good when you use Full Counter because it's also a daze. So No Escape, Sun and Moon Style if you're running Dagger, and you want to run Mage Bane Tether. So I'm going to show you how to use Mage Bane Tether effectively. The interesting thing about this trait is that it gives 3 stacks of might as long as the enemy is still tethered to you so you can gain up to 25 stacks of might and it reveals them. Now for the setup you want to tether your opponent using your burst skill and if they try to run it will pull them. Running sun and moon style will give you quickness if you interrupt them. A more effective and stronger version is using disrupting stab as soon as you pull them. So that's all the combos I have to show you for right now. And, uh, you know, if it helped out, I hope it did. I hope you use it and it helped in the fight in the future. If you want to see some more combos, you can look in the description for more warrior videos and combos. And uh, I'll see y'all then. Peace.